We are talking about uh, immunization of mi migrants. It's a uh, quite uh, interesting topic because recently we are facing in Europe a wave of migrants and uh, many people are discussing uh, if we are in some biological risk or not. Uh, basically, I suppose the risk is uh, moderate. Uh, however, still there is some. And uh, we suppose that there are risks uh, in two levels. The first one is uh, the risk related to introduction of uh, pathogens from the countries of origin, which are pretty new one in our settings. And the second issue, this is, uh, let's say, creating of unimmunized group in our population, what may trigger some outbreaks of uh, infectious diseases, uh, which are common in our countries, but which are not so frequent. So basically, uh, we should tackle with those two issues. If we have uh, migrants, I think we have a very well prepared system of immunization of children. In spite of the fact that there is no universal European immunization program, but uh, what's our recommendation? If you are exposed to migrants who are staying in, let's say, target country, it's necessary to immunize them according to our regular schedules. If we have adults, it's more complicated because not all European countries, and I should say majority of European countries, is still not developing uh, immunization calendars. So we should uh, continue in such a way that it's not important which country is a country of uh, entry to European Union, but because we are one group of countries, we may face to those migrants later on, so it should be a little bit harmonized what are the procedures. And I should say that uh, we are able to establish certain rules how to immunize those people. So basically, the most important uh, vaccination in that age, I mean adults, uh, is probably MMR because uh, they are not uh, very well uh, immunized. And uh, I think uh, if we will just say that uh, just only one vaccine is necessary, I would vote for MMR. There is a couple of other vaccines, but uh, this is uh, in my perspective. Based on uh, such a recommendation, we may minimize the risk uh, for our population because uh, why we are in relatively mild risk, it's quite obvious. We have relatively good coverage in Europe, so regular diseases have a very limited chance to be spread around. But for those diseases which are not quite common here, we should be immunized and we should have similar strategies for our foreigners.